previously on Alan Wake. I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Episode 4, The Truth. Mm. Alan, shh, oh. shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Oh, I wish. Alice. There you are. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a set. Oh, we just read this. You went through another rough period. What? We don't right trust him. Now it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various uh, symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Past. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Okay, that was... Oh, oh, hello? I was Good talking. Evening, Alan. Hi. Feeling better now? No. Calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Yeah, spicy. Right. That's the spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now. Oh, look, Alan broke his nose. Me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air. Yes, it will do you good. Sure. Okay. Hello again. Welcome back to Alan Wake. That was just a, uh, there's a lot happening all at once as soon as I turn the game on, but we're in it. Um, do we have anything? Oh, no. Of course, of course they took our guns. Oh. This oh. corridor is for patients. Most of them are here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Who? Like who? Oh, it's an Xbox 360! Oh, Night Springs! That is so cute! What else we got? Maybe some candy. Night Springs, the video game! That's so fun. Oh, what's this? I encourage creativity as a part oh, of there's the names on them. Process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Emerson. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Lane. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can oh, a painter! If we work together. Hush, I'm looking. This way, Alan. No. And to soul. I wanna go in there though. Fine. Fine. Oh! Hello, sir. Huh, it's kinda creepy. Anderson. Oh, Anderson. Did we meet him? That name seems familiar. Oh, we have an elevator. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Hmm. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face back. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate hmm. fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped in supernatural forces of darkness. I mean, he obviously knows a lot. 
But I think Kyogre's he's working for I wasn't the darkness. For shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Oh, that's pretty. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the two kings. That's what I've been afraid of this whole game. This is just all in his mind. I know the instinct is to resist. But I don't think it is. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know that everything Ooh. can be explained. What do we want to see? Logically. Oh, this is cool. Big sundial? Where are we going? Oh, we can read. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. What you doing? Okay, we're still walking. Right, we could see this lodge from the cottage on Cauldron Lake. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Ooh. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. But what's over here? Oh, I can't go that way. Could you walk a little what faster I'm then? Telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Ah, everything After is locked. All your nightmares. This should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying, or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hmm. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. Need to work with Good job, Alan. Stay you focused. Accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Oh, is someone painting out there? Come along. Let's go inside. Oh, lots of people. Now here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Hello. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. Who are you? I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. He's got like a little pixel character on his shirt. I think I was in... Is that your Xbox upstairs? Yeah, that's right. I got you. Got Emerson. you good. Emerson. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night. That's for sure. Let me go. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough. Who are you? Is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. I like Emerson. this dude. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Emerson. We're actually making some progress, I love him. I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Oh, it's yeah. trash, of course. <laughs> but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic. Oh, I love habits. games that no make fun of themselves. This is awesome. Emerson, you're my favorite. Oh, who are you? You're happy. Oh. <laughs> what about you, sir? Oh, what are we painting? Oh, oh. hello. Um, I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things. Oh, what is a lot of them. <gasps> the images just keep coming. Oh, he's got a hammer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Wait, is this... 
Oh, for a second I thought that was the radio guy. I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is awesome painting, here. dude. This is... I'd hate to be out there tonight. Ah. Oh. That's hilarious and so dark. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if the singing lady has anything to say. This is such a nice palette cleanser after the large amount of stress in the last episode. Oh, he's still going at it. Hi. You just seem content and happy. Okay. Oh. The guy on the right there looks real sketchy. Come, Alan. This way. You don't tell me what to do. You might have noticed the oh. typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Sooner you feel up to it, you should continue. Patient rooms. We're snooping, we're snooping. Ooh, read. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space. <laughs> I've been in all their rooms so far, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Hmm. Be patient. Typically, your patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Oh, what was that? Oh. Hi, guys! Killing me. Oh, that's a There's board a game. Storm coming. Oh! What a storm! I hope it wipes this place <laughs> off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a, oh, look this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods <laughs> of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that Oh. Do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. Really Punch him in the face best. again, Alan. Do it. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he loves Too soon, to buddy. Out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! He's crazy as a requirement, <laughs> Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Oh, hey, excuse like him, me? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, huh. here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe for me. Inventors. Where did you keep it? <laughs> Whole lot of confusion, but they called him Zane. What did you give me? Oh, it's a page. Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. I was clearing up. Or according okay. to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to Bye, me guys. about everything. You were delightful. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Okay, we gotta go back to our room. Yeah, good thing he's not 
overreacting or anything. Hmm? Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Go away, Birch. Hey, why don't you the doors were Dr. locked. Hartman and, give Hartman the right and the nurses would have keys, but there was no room. way to get my hands you can get on to your room by those stairs, Wake. But my room... Oh. I thought it was through that door. Okay, fine. Oh, those doors are open now. Oh! Something's wrong. Uh-huh. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. <laughs> have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. Freaky. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Oh. <sighs> I think that the actor they're using in these little, like, Alan Wake episodes, he seems to be showing up in all of the, like, uh, Night Springs episodes, too. And I know I've been skipping over those because they're long, I knew but I it's the same guy. But I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Oh, they're getting rowdy. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yeah, sure, bud. I'll be good. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Let's go. Wench. Ooh, Paige. Barry in the lodge. Barry kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. So Barry was here. He's trying to save us. Barry? Sinclair looked oh, back. no! <gasps> love to happen. The crazy old fart hit her hard. Oh! She, goons, she had it coming. I assumed that had already happened. But they just did it. Oh, the poor lady. I'm so sorry. Guys. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. I can't. Oh, God. I didn't realize that that was about to happen. Oh. Is this the way to his office? Oh, examine. The photo on the wall oh, it's my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all the Ah, around. so Hartman is the boss. Let me out of here. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to swim. <gasps> is that Barry? Okay, we're gonna open it in a second. I wanna look in the office real quick. The oh. The said they were recordings Hartman had made of his sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Okay, let's listen to this. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party is, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent and he's... Do you mean with you? No. No. Oh, honey, no.
This must be hard for him to hear. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and oh, empty all at once. Poor guy. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut of a miss. Oh. Hartman is a sick guy. Oh, another painting. Cool. All right, Barry. Barry. Hello. Oh. Ow. <laughs> what the hell? Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Good job. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. Yeah, he I shot at me. Where you were. That guy's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. Huh. What's... What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. <laughs> yeah. Barry's the best character life. in this game. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. I want to, like, knock it over. Ugh. Okay. Oh, there they are. Ooh, and our gun. Give me. These were all the pages I had already. And more. Oh, Barry, please don't be evil. Oh, no. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Thank you. This oh, is good. Let's get yeah, somewhere. It was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With oh. your ability and mine. Oh. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, we read about that too. He smiles and then he gets attacked. Oh God! The dark presence will be on you in a moment. How do I have a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. Oh God! Can't, not in there. Oh oh oh! I pressed the wrong button. Oh God! Oh, it's coming. Um. Oh boy. Okay. There was a. I have keys now. Generator. door or like what okay 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 oh god okay Oh. oh no. Where do I go? What is this? Not. Huh? Wait, are there more in here? Am I supposed to? Ah! Page. Oh, what's gonna happen next? Hartman's mission. Knew he was no creator. 
He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. Oh, that he's was what sick. Most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Sounds like he's using this clinic for his own twisted purposes. Ah! Running, running. Oh. Not through there? Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on down here. Hoping it'll like sail down the hall past me. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, Alan, now is not the time to be out of breath. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, I tried to dodge that and failed, but... I'm here. Barry! Help! Oh, okay. We have a second. Okay. I see a thermos. I gotta look around first. Goodies, pages, thermoses. Okay. No goodies are jumping out at me. I'm here. I'm here. but the gate's locked. Oh, of course. Mary, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thank you, thank you. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, Look at the house, Al. Look out. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Into the light. I'm going, Barry. I'm going. Okay, we got flares. Ugh, hedge maze. Of course. Okay. Let's try not to panic. Oh. Great. Great, great, great. Ah! Oh. Don't. Trust a meal. Oh, shit. Okay, who's a meal again? That was um, Thomas Zane's assistant? Who was really good at encouraging him to write? Is that what it was? Wake sees the old god stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Oh, I can't wait to get there. Maybe there'll be a bunch of big lights. Oh, gosh. All these sharp turns. Gah! I literally, like, flinch. Ooh, ooh. Hartman and the power failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. All right, so Hartman knows about whatever's in the lake. Probably about Thomas Zane and Barbara. You get all 
Oh, it's you. Oh, and he's got birds. Go. Do I just go? Running. Okay. Ooh, 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 yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Ugh. I felt bad for Mott when he was taken. But, uh, not anymore. Seems like he's a bit of a creeper. Okay, let's save the big shots. I don't have many batteries, though. No! No! Stop it! Barry attacked by a taken- No! Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh boy. We must save Barry. Every time I see one of these stones, I think it's a page. Ooh. All right, they're giving me lots of goodies. That can only mean one thing. Oh, this is a nice view. Hartman sedates Wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom ruined him. Oh, he, he treated out, Tom. And whispered with a smile, let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Hmm. All these pieces are starting to line up. There's Barry. Barry is just a symbol of joy in this game. If anything happens to him, oh, it'll just break my heart. Barry! Ow! You're alive! Yeah, let me out. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry! Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Oh shit. Oh shit. I was gonna say, we still have a light, we're good. Okay. Hurry up, Barry. Come on, come on. Come on, come closer, come closer. Oh, where'd you come from? Alright, 
We gotta make some space. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not good, not good. Oh. Oh, the gate's open. Okay. Running. Running faster. Where's the car? Oh, yeah. Barry's clearly a better driver than me. Look at the cutout. <laughs> Oh, I skipped it by accident. Shoot. <laughs> I got excited and hit a button. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... How? I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. Oh, right. They did mention a farm. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It's going to go off the cliff. Please tell me you're wearing your seatbelts. God damn it, out! Talk to me. Whew. Oh, I'm hurting. That whole sequence was rough. him except we know that Help! Help! Something moving down shit here! that's what barry, i was about to say flare, barry. oh shit barry <gasps> yeah! barry uh. are you all right <laughs> i'm good al i'm great guess he never messed with anyone from new york City before, <laughs> huh? oh that must be the farm Oh, be careful. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm going to go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Oh, there Don't he is. About it. I'm on He's the got case. the cut out. <laughs> this would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> oh, Barry is the best. Oh, I just want to watch him go. Oh, there's a page down there. How far are you gonna go? Run, Mary, run! There he goes! Oh, he just stopped there. Good job, Barry. You ran across the field. Um, okay, I think this is gonna be a good place to end this one for today. Uh, that got really intense, and we hate Hartman, but we're getting some answers, and we've had lots of laughs. Barry is the best part of this game. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. More Alan Wake to come soon, and have a good day!